Welcome back to the channel guys. We are starting this week off with me learning how to solo winter tot. Now I know it's not hard. I've literally just looked the guide up and it looks pretty chill to be honest. I'll probably enjoy solo more than I will enjoy doing any other kind of winter tot. Just because it just looks relaxing to be honest. And like I said, if you guys uh, haven't seen the previous video, I do recommend watching it. Um, but if you've forgotten or whatever, we do want a Tome of Fire for Ice Demon. So I am going to be doing some solo winter tot here and there. And this is me starting it. Hopefully I do enjoy it as much as I think I will. Um, also, we did just get 95 magic. But the main reason for this clip is I have just wanted to make bank space because I plan to solo it. I'm going to keep loads of chests or store or the crates, wherever they are, and then open a load at once because I feel like that'd be a bit more exciting. And I feel like it's, it could make some content and hopefully we'll get something pretty decent and some of the crates are open. I don't know how many I'll do at once, but I had to clear some bank space because my bank was full. So I decided to do all my clue items and whatnot and put a couple of uniforms in. Um, and I'm going to say this now. If you're an Iron Man, never ever use these until they're the max level. Especially if you're an Ultimate. Because it is not possible to upgrade one of these if you have previously built one. You have to remove all of the items that you put in there and then build it. Which is absolutely ridiculous. So I'd have to take all the items out of this chest. I'd have to remove the chest, I have to build the new one. You imagine if you're in, especially an ultimate, imagine you've got the second highest or whatever, and you might maybe have 100 items in there, or even 50. You have to take all 50 out, make sure you can put them somewhere, and then build the chest, remove the chest, and then build a new chest. It's such a sh shit design, it's so flawed, but I should thought, you know, let you guys know, because I've just figured it out. But if you're an iron, or even a main just if you're anyone just do not build this unless you're going to build the largest one because you could regret it later down the line so we've just completed our first solo winter tart um i said i was going to keep all the crates but just for the first one we are going to open it i didn't get max points um i'm trying to figure out when is best to kill winter tot and at what point i should do it so i don't go beyond 13,500. As soon as it gets 13,500, 13, I can't get any more item slots, so I'm just going to get 13,500 and stop. So I think at about when I reach 13k, I can then go around all the brazes, light them, and hopefully I should kill it just beyond 13,500. But for this one, we did get 12,705. Now, I, have, I didn't put an XP counter up, uh, but I do have it on my rune light. Now, the first time I tried this, before I got to like 10%, where you keep Winterstar alive for ages... Uh, the servers did DC, so sadly, um, this experience isn't exact because I forgot to reset it. But we've got 161k, so I was going to guess maybe 140, 150k in that one run, which isn't bad. I haven't got my XP rates. We also got a fair bit of construction. Obviously, construction doesn't matter too much for me because I've got 99 banked. But, you know, it's free construction. We've got some wood curtain and some fletching experience. 10k fletching, 6k wood curtain if you guys are interested. And the main reason I want to open this crate is to see if it's actually worth me continuing solo. Because if I don't like how the crate is, then I might just leave it. Um, but I think I probably will continue, to be honest with you. But I've had well, I've heard. Windsot does scale with your level as to what items you can get. These are my current stats. Uh, if you guys want to pause and see what they are. And this is what we get from our first supply crate. This is going to give us 25 rolls. Yeah, 20, I think 25 rolls. Uh, let's see if we get anything interesting. If we get Tome on the first one, then I don't even know what to say. But we also got 73 fire making as well. So that puts us to 200, uh, 2016 total. But here is the first crate. Oh. Oh, no, you can do this still. I believe it will just... I just fall to the, yeah, they'll just go, go on the ground. So, boom. There is the first crate not great is there anything that stands out 34k honestly that is a really really shit crate but at the end of the day the main reason i'm here is for the tome so i'm not going to complain too much um the method's only going to get better as well uh, because i'm going to perfect it and hopefully take less damage and do it quicker to get to the point where i start getting the points faster but for now, I'm happy with it, so I'm going to continue it, and I'll probably see you guys when I have... I might... What I might do is I might do five crates at a time, because I could stack up loads, 
but I gotta admit, I just I'll get an urge to open them, and I feel like it's kind of satisfying to open them because I could do twenty thirty, and then I could get the tome on the first crate I open, and I was sitting there like, oh for fuck's sake. Because I only want to be here until I get the tome. I don't want to solo for any longer than I have to. Only because it'll be easier for me to get the tome. So I think we're going to do five at a time. Something like that. Once you get to this point of solo winter top, it's just so nice to do. Setting up is kind of annoying. You have to run around. Make sure all the braziers are lit and whatnot. When you get to 30% or roughly 30%, you'll just focus on two. And then once you get to about 12 or between 15 and 10% around there, You'll just go down to one and then you just gotta make sure you don't accidentally kill it uh it's fairly easy to do uh to make sure you don't accidentally kill it sometimes you'll just make sure that when you fletch you leave the brazier unlit that way uh it'll slowly regain health winter top but it's really nice to be able to just get to this point and relax um the experience is decent i don't know what it is per hour i'm not too interested in per hour experience um the points seem pretty decent and i've got my long i've got a 13.5k chest just a second ago in my second try of this so it's pretty chill um like i said i'll be doing a few chests at a time i haven't decided how many because it does take quite a while to get them and it would be nice to see a chest every now and then because of how long they take and i don't want to do like 10 and then, like i said get a tome after that and then get in like the first chest or something but either way the method's pretty chill if you guys don't really know how the method works like i said you just have to run around like all the braziers till 30 percent then focus on two and after that you just sit a one if you don't already know the reason it's pretty decent to do solo is you get more supplies and also when it's at low hp uh, you take less damage because he, he hits you less often or it hits you less often the winter top we'll get ourselves two crates here i'm about to run some raids for the day so i thought i might as well open them before just to see if i get lucky and get the tome obviously chances are i won't but this is, these are the second and third uh, crates that I've opened. These are both 13.5k crates though. Uh, the Pyromancer set I obviously want to complete as well. That would be cool to store it in the house. Uh, until I complete it, it will be kind of annoying because it would be taking bank slots. But let's see if we get anything good. In the, f oh no, oh yeah. in the first crate, we get Burn Pages. Okay, and a Bruma Torch. It's our first Bruma Torch. Three snapdragons, that's not too bad to you. It's alright, it's alright. You know, I can't complain, I guess. And the second one, please, just please, just do the tope so I can get out of it. Uh, never lucky. No, but anyway, uh, I'll say it was decent. Out of two crates, six U seeds, three snapdragons, that's probably the most standout. And obviously, we've got ourselves a broom torch now. I don't think it's that useful. In fact, I think it's pretty useless. But to be honest, the supplies ain't too bad, I can't complain. But like I said, I'm going to do some raids for the days, so you guys might see some raid clips, if anything interesting happens. Otherwise, you'll probably see me back at Winter Top opening more crates. Just before I start my raids, I did forget to say, from those three crates that we did obtain, we gained just under 500k experience. Like I said, there was one I DC'd on, but I didn't gain too much experience beforehand. We got 486k fire making, to be exact. Uh, we got like 40k fletching and construction, which you know doesn't matter too much, but that's a decent amount of fire making experience. I'm pretty happy with that. But I just want to let you guys know in case you're interested. So in between raids and doing a bit of solo winter tot, now I mentioned before I was gonna try solo winter tot and see if I enjoyed it. I was never planning to literally just straight up grind it out because at the end of the day the tome the only place i'm interested in it for at the moment is ice demon so it's it's a very niche thing but i do still plan to go for it i'm going to be doing solo winter tot here and there but it's not something that i'm just going to straight up grind out because i feel like we're wasting so much time now i'm really starting to think whether or not i should go back on my word and say about i should just go back to slayer and do hydra with a blowpipe because i'm limiting myself so much at the moment there's only so many things I can do that are that beneficial right now. Slayer could be really, really beneficial for me to do. There's so many stuff, so many uh, drops we still need from Slayer. Uh, we need Dagonoff Kings, obviously, once we get to Hydra, all the Hydra drops. Armadillos, I'd like to do Armadillo once I get Rigor. So as soon as I get Rigor, I'm going to unlock Avian Seas. But I'm debating whether or not to go back to Slayer, so you may see it. But whilst I decide exactly whether or not I'm going to do that, I decided to do a bit of Mole. Now, I had 1kc for the diary, and I thought, you know what, I'll get to 50kc, and this was good enough as just one trip. And I was just curious, because 
Obviously, I don't have uh, Darrocks, don't have the full set. I'm missing one piece, the only piece from Barrows. And this is my best in slot gear currently. And honestly, it's decent. Uh, I don't know what DH kills per hour is, but I've heard that uh, Grazi Rapier is slightly better than that. And Azami Hasta isn't much worse. Uh, obviously, it is worse, but it's not like a massive difference. So it can't be that much difference between this setup compared to Darrocks. Obviously, Twisted Bow is the best setup, so if I ever get a Twisted Bow, I can honestly see myself camping there just to get loads of brews. But I wanted to see it, uh, do it, sorry, to see what I got out of it and how many brews from, for example, 50 KC. Obviously, we've done one KC before, but we're just going to say it's 50 KC. Now, I've never done this before. I believe, I don't know if we just talked to this guy or not. There we go, I'll trade the mole parts, and he just gives us... Does he? Oh god, I think I might have just done this wrong. Oh no, no, no. I believe he'll give us... Wait, let me... Okay, I can only do this from the bank. Let's quickly go to the bank, and I'll show you guys what we do once we're at the bank. Right, so we're at the bank. We're just going to bank everything real quick. Uh, we also think, I don't know if you guys noticed, we've got 400 U-Logs, which is, I think, 100 at a time it drops. So I've got four drops of U-Logs. There's some fletching experience and some alka balls. But right now, we'll see exactly how this works. By the looks of things, it's literally nests that have seeds, rings, and ones that are empty. Uh, now, I'm not sure if one mole skin and one mole claw equivalates to one bird's nest. I honestly have no idea. Um, so I, but I'm not sure... If I need to, t there we go. So I can do it when I'm standing next to a bank. And you literally remove 25 nests. So I'm going to quickly empty all these. I hope well, it shouldn't take long because if it's equivalent to how many mole skins I had, which by the looks of things it is, we're going to get a de decent amount, but not like a ridiculous amount. So by the looks of things, yeah, there's 60. Yeah. So one mole skin or one mole claw is one bird's nest now obviously the empty bird's nest went into this tab i forgot what they were for a second but these ones we're going to open them real quick and i'm going to see what we got out of them i'm going to ignore the rings i'm just going to do those off camera and then i'll open all 66 of these ones and we'll just see what we get out of them so we've opened all the bird's nests like i said i'm not going to show the rings because it's not too interesting the ben only benefit from that is we're going to get emerald rings for rings of jeweling and sapphire rings recoils obviously it's kind of nice but obviously it's not that important because it's easy to get that anyway but these are all the seeds we got every single seed that we got is here so we got two in our these i'm going to obviously only point out the ones that are that like half decent three dwarf we got ourselves a cow we've got one magic seed we got ourselves a spirit seed three mahogany some snape grass six lantodime i mean papaya i suppose it's decent uh but the ones that are a bit harder to get uh, Candentine, some limp white. Limp whites are always nice. I mean, they're fairly easy to get. I suppose we might as well put the papaya up there. But these are the only useless seeds and a palm, sorry, that we got down here that I don't use anymore. In fact, there's a lot more than I thought that are actually useful. So these are the only seeds that I got that aren't useful. All these are useful seeds to me that I still use. So honestly, that's not bad. If I ever get a Tebow, I feel like this place is just going to be a place I come quite a bit to get a lot of stuff like this. Because this is some decent supplies, and it's something that's so simple. And honestly, I feel like I'll just enjoy chilling here. So I feel like if I ever get a Tebow, well, sorry, not if I ever, because I will grind until I get one. When I get a Tebow, I feel like this is going to be something I'll do quite a bit. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. You guys will probably see in the next clip, which will be in about five seconds for you, but God knows when for me. I thought it would be a good idea to finally do all the clues that I've left in my bank for so long. We've got a medium, which is just awful. A hard, we get another heraldic shield. I forget if I need this. And another duplicate Gothix page. And last but not least, an elite. I said no to the Mimic boss fight. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in future. I feel like I should try to get the third age ring. But for this one, we didn't. The clue itself wasn't too bad. Two U seeds, some teleports, as well as a rune kite. So as you guys can see from the last clip, we are back to doing clue scrolls. I decided to do them because I needed a bit of cash and i wanted to get them out of my bank for bank slots and i'm going to be doing more slayer so you know i'm going to be wanting to get those clue scrolls and not missing out on the chance of doing clues but you may be wondering why i'm wearing this gear and as you can what well, you can see from the chat that i have been doing vorkath but you may be wondering why i've been doing vorkath now i didn't want to do vorkath until a dragon hunter crossbow and i'm still exactly the same the only reason i'm at vorkath i've got 10 kc here since 
the Vork F head because we've got that at 2kc. So we've done 10 kills and the main reason we've done it is so that we can get money to finish off 99 construction. Now 99 construction we started a long time ago. But I knew that it would be such a long goal because we had to get so much money. And I wanted to do it fairly efficiently through Slayer. But it got to the point where I needed a tiny bit more money. And I just thought, I don't want to go keep doing Slayer for now. I just want to get the money and do the construction. So I just thought, you know, I'm going to go try Vorkath with a blowpipe. And this is the setup I took. This is my Dragon Warhammer switch. I would spec it at the start and then go straight into the range switch. I would teleport there with the friendly boots. Um, but if I missed both specs i would just teleport to house get my spec back and go straight back because it's really fast i'll show you real quick the teleport takes you if you don't already know it's unlimited as well because the frame elite just here and the boat is just over there for vorkaf so it's really easy i just teleport back get my spec and then be on my way but we got to 12 kc it's a fairly decent time two minutes is all right for vorkaf i believe uh consider me using the blowpipe but i don't want to camp it until i get a dragon hunter crossbow end of we didn't get much from Vorkath, but we got a decent amount of money. I'm not sure if I need any more money for construction, but this money right here is going to go straight into the coffer in the house. For butler fees, I think this, on top of what already is in there, is enough. If not, I can just go do a few more Vorkath kills and I'm sure I'll get the money. But you may be wondering, like, where did all the cash go? And that is because this right here is 99 construction. All the planks are there. I don't need to do use these logs because I was lucky enough to get some mahoganies and some up spare teak ones through construction. Uh, no, sorry, through raids. So I was able to use those and I just used them straight away to figure out how many planks I would need to make. So we've done all the planks. All we need to do now is do these planks into Myth Capes to get 99 construction. That is all of it. That's literally it. And this is about 20 to 30 hours worth of construction. Closer to 20 if I don't max efficiency. Because it's 2.5k planks per hour, 300k experience. So we're looking at about 20 to 25 hours max efficiency. But I'd probably say close to 30. But I still haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do this. If I do this, this week's video is going to be a lot shorter. Because I'm not going to be able to get as many clips. But at the same time, it's going to happen at times. We're going to have longer grinds. So I'm going to think about it. And I'm going to decide whether or not I want to bash it all out. But other than that, the only thing I want to mention is, of course, to do Vorkath, we did make some anti-venoms. First anti-venoms on the account. So we've got some now. Ideally, we don't really want to use them. We want to wait till Anti-Venom Plus because I use like two dose per kill and Anti-Venom Plus will be one dose per kill. So that's well worth it. But it is a Torstal, I believe, an Anti-Dose Plus. Uh, Anti-Dose Plus, sorry. No, Anti-Venom Plus, sorry. I may be wrong in saying that, but I believe it is a Torstal. We'll have a check real quick. Uh, Herb Lord, there it is. If we go down, yeah, it is an Anti-Venom Plus a Torstal. I mean, Torstals aren't too bad. We've got a lot of Super Combats as it is. So we, you know, when we get to the Vorkaf ground for Dragon Hunter Crossbow, there's no reason not to. I'm looking forward to Vorkaf in the future though, because you make a hell of a lot of money there, and you get a hell of a lot of resources. I think that's pretty much all I've got to say for this clip. I'm going to go start construction, just to do a bit of it and get in the mood of it, because I'm going to be doing, you know, part of it this week regardless. I just haven't decided whether I'm going to do all of it. I have found a method which I will show you. I don't have to move my camera. I can click in the same place to build and remove. So it makes Myth Capes that bit better. But I'm going to go do a tiny bit and I'll probably show you the guys the method. I am very sorry if this looks disgusting. Because, well, it just does. Now, this method, I actually forgot to mention. My client might look a little different because I'm not using Rune Light for this method. I've actually used, I'm actually gone back, sorry, to using OS Buddy just to do this. Because on OS Buddy, you can uh, set it so there's no zoom cap. I don't believe you can do that on Loon Light, Rune Light, sorry. Loon Light, wow. Rune Light. So I did look, and there was no way under camera zoom to do it. And you can completely zoom right in on OS Buddy. And I'm going to do it literally just for this purpose. And it allows me to do this. When you create mahogany tables, you don't need to move your mouse for building and removing. This is exactly the same. I can click here, build. Then I can build my mythical cape rack, right click again, remove. This makes construction so much more relaxing. The only downside is we're using OS Buddy, but I don't really care about it too much. I haven't got any settings up on it. I'm literally on here to do this. As soon as I've done this, back to Runelight, which I'm more comfortable with and where all my client looks like it should do. But we're going to set up an XP tracker and we're going to get cracking with some construction. We decided to go straight for 99 construction. We're at 97 at the moment. 
only about 19k planks to go. I don't actually need to use all these planks, but it's, I think it's like 18.99. So basically just close enough to dead on 19k planks that need to be used. But I do have four long bones. That is how I'm going to finish off the last bit of experience. So I don't accidentally miss the message and do anything by accident. But that's obviously, like I said, how we're going to finish it. But the problem we've walked into, and I knew this was going to happen, and I done it on purpose so I could take a break from construction because it's horrible to do all at once, is money. Now, this is all the money I have. I took it all out the, the coffer, and we need more. Now, the reason I've done this on purpose is so that I could have a break in between to go a bit, do a bit of Vorkath and then go back to construction after. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Vorkath, make about five 600k. I think that's enough. And we're going to put it straight in the coffer and go straight there to 99. Now, because I've decided to go for 99, this video is going to be shorter than most of the others. I think I mentioned it before. If I do it, it's going to be shorter, but it's going to happen at times. But 99 construction is a big grind and it's something I have to get out of the way at one point. So why not do it this week? So I've just figured out the math. We need about 950k. I would like to get a slight bit more just so we can have some cash for after. But it doesn't matter if I don't, to be honest, because I can always go get a quick bit of cash somewhere just to have some on the account. But the main reason I'm doing this clip is because I want to show this off. Um, PBs for me, they're never, it's always luck at the end of the day. As long as you know the boss mechanics, there's only so much you can do to make sure your PB is better. And there's a lot of RNG, or luck, whatever you want to call it, as to whether or not you're going to hit hard consistently and whatnot. But this right here, this kill here was crazy. We had we start off with dragon warhammer specs now what i do at vorkath is i'll dragon warhammer spec if i don't hit i'll just go back to my house and then tele uh, teleport straight back if i hit one i'm happy if I hit two it's even better but on this kill here we're not going to get a kill like this again for a long time probably but we hit two dragon warhammer specs one was like a 74 i think one was a 62 so that's 130 damage straight off the bat and then from then on we just hit so consistently but you know the kills have been getting better which around about two minute average kill i think uh, we've got a decent amount of money. Then I realized, and I've just out them. I out all my mystic sets because I'm not too interested in collecting those because they're not like clue items or anything. So they were just bank slots. So I thought I'd just out them all. So we're up to 832k. So we need about 100k more. So I'm going to go get that Vorkaf real quick. One drop of like a dragon battle axe or dragon plate legs or whatever is, you know, that's the money straight away basically. But hopefully we'll get it soon because I want to get straight back to construction and get it completed. Well, here it is. Now. Before I get actually do this and finish this, um, these are the four long bones, as I've said here, that get me 99 construction. We are done. But before I actually actually go ahead and do this and get 99 construction, there's a couple of things I want to say. First of all, I want to say sorry for the video not being out yesterday. Uh, it's going to be out on a Monday evening, but it should have been out on Sunday. But I had to delay it due to a couple of IRL reasons. I've had trouble with my sleep and whatnot. So I didn't actually have the time to finish 99 Construction. And I didn't want to put the video out without finishing 99 Construction. Because the whole plan of this video was to get 99 Construction. Because I just wanted it. I wanted to get done this video. I could have done it for next week. But I was so happy to have it done. Or get it done. To be able to get it done. That I just wanted to get it in this video. And I just feel like it's such a nice achievement for me to get done. And I feel like even if the video is going to be shorter, it's going to be worth it. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to have to do this grind at one point. So I'm going to have to use the same amount of hours and make a different video short. Some videos are going to be shorter than others. But I'm just glad to have it done. The other thing is we don't actually have the cash to get the cave. So after I turn these four long bones in, I'm going to have to go make enough cash just to be able to get the cave. Then after I've done that, I would explain to you guys what my plans are for just after we get the cape and whatnot but for now let's talk to this guy and then he'll give us 4k that's an extra 4k we don't have to make i'm just waiting for this this is going to give us 99 construction i've been waiting for this for so long here we go 18k experience and then after this dialogue here we go 99 construction oh shit son that is one hell of a 99 to have. Now, I believe this puts me quite high on the leaderboards because not loads and loads of irons have 99 construction. I think there's like 1,500. So that's a pretty high, you know, rank to have just for getting the 99. There's some 99s you get and you're really low rank just because so many people have the 99 already. But it unlocks a few things that I honestly don't care about. But this is obviously what we want to do. We want to get the cape, but we don't have the money for it right now. We've got nothing we can out. But... We've got 99 construction, boys. We've done it. We're 146.6 mil total experience, 2027 total level. 
The 99 is complete. I'm so happy. I'm going to go make the cash and we're going to buy that cape. We just out some javelin heads that we had in the bank to get us enough money. I went a little bit over because I want a tiny bit of cash. But here we are. Time to pick up the cape. Now, for me, this has to be... It's a, it's a really nice cape, but I feel like it... A lot of people say it's the best cape, but for me, it's the second best cape in the game. I would rather have the crafting cape. The only reason I haven't gone for it is because I'd rather get it at Vorkath in the future. But this is really nice. The only reason that I see the crafting cape as slightly better is because it gives me a new bank. This gives me stuff I previously had. I know it's like more con like, you know, convenient and whatnot, but I would love to have the crafting cape just to have a new bank. And such a good bank but if you guys don't already know what this does now honestly first of all let's see what it looks like on this thing looks fucking dope now the skill cape emote as well we'll do it real quick for you guys if you don't already know what it is it's kind of cool you know a little one by one house it's cool i like it you know i don't really care for skill cape emotes too much though but what's so good about this cape is put the inventory it has two options we have teleport and teleport to poh now this is an unlimited teleport to poh what's so good about this is we can be on any spell book not have to worry about teleport tabs and we can go straight to our house you know it's really nice but the other thing that's kind of nice about this is we have the teleport option now there's quite a few people don't actually know about this but if you click teleport you can teleport to any house portal in the game unlimited amount of times so we can go straight to Tavoli. this is teleport straight outside Tavoli. So you don't have to use redirection scrolls, you don't have to relocate your house, nothing like that. Just unlimited teleports. It's really, really handy. The only reason I use teleport tabs now is for things like uh, when I go to God Wars, I'll be using redirection scrolls to change it to Trollheim because you can't go to Trollheim with this. Uh, it's kind of a shame you can't, but you know, at least it gives teleport tabs still kind of a use for me. But that's that's really nice to have. That is the fourth ninety nine. We can slot that straight in the uh, straight in the. I forgot what it's called. Straight in the bank. We'll go do that right now. But what I'm also going to talk about in this clip is we'll drop that because we don't actually keep the hoods because we don't really care for them. We're going to slot this. I don't know where we're going to put it because we're going to need a saw. But this is where you know it's going to go there. For now, we'll just plonk it in there, and I'm sure I'll find somewhere I can kind of slot it in or whatever. But for now, that's where it's going to go. There's the 499s. And next on the account is actually another achievement cape. Now, it's not a 99, so you guys can probably already guess what it is. It is, in fact, the quest cape. Now, I haven't needed the quest cape on my account. There's no reason for me to have gone for it. You know, it's nice to have, but it didn't give me anything that I was really too excited for. So I just haven't bothered getting it. But the main reason I want it now is because next on the list is the Lumbridge and Draenor Elite Diary, which does require us to have the Questcape, because we need to do the Questcape emote in the wise old man's house. Now, we also need AA Smithing, so that is my next buyable, which, to be honest, that's not too bad. I think it cost me about 10 mil to get to a uh, 83 then do a plus 5 boost. So that's going to be important, but what's also important about doing that is... Obviously, I'm going to be doing the quest cape, and I'm going to get Song of the Elves done for it, um, which is going to unlock a lot of new content. Now, what I said is when I get 99 construction, I wanted to go ahead and open up all my crystal keys, but Song of the Elves has come out. There's a new crystal key, which you can make, and it's just better to do. Like, There's no reason for me not to do it if I can do it. I'm, I might as well use all these crystal keys at the new chest, but that will require me to have 80 smithing and Song of the Elves complete to even be able to do that. So I plan to get a quest cape, I plan to uh, get the Lumbridge uh, Elite done, and then I plan to use all my crystal keys, or get all the dust required to make all the crystal keys into the new ones, I'm not sure what they're called, like Elven Crystal Keys or something, and then we're going to use them all at once. So we are delaying that, but it's definitely worth it. It's If I'd have opened these like with just a normal crystal chest, I'd have been really guided if I'd have done that, and then some of the elves come out, because I've seen people get like 400 gold ore from one crystal key, I feel like it's kind of a crystal chest mixed with a brimstone chest. That's kind of what it seems like. I haven't seen too many keys open there, but it's, you know, it's better than normal chest. So there's no reason for me to do it. Uh, do the normal chest. But until then, we have 26k cash. We're going to need some cash whilst we do t um, the quest cape. So my plan is to actually go make a tiny bit of cash, do a bit of uh, Konar Slayer. Once we've done some Konar Slayer, we we'll go straight to quest game. But the order I'd like to do it in is I would like to do Morning Zen Part 1 and 2 first, and then do Song of the Elves after that. The reason I want to do this is because it will unlock me 
access to Priftonus, so I can do activities in Priftonus if I'd like to. And it also unlocks Divine Potions. And Divine Potions are going to be good for certain things. Like a Divine Range Potion would be pretty decent in raids. So I'm tempted to take them into raids. So if I do Song of the Elves first, well, not first, after Morning Zen Part 1 and 2, whilst I'm going for the rest of the quest cape, if I'm raiding in between, at least I'll have access to Divine Potions if I wish to use them. But for now, that is where we're going to end this episode. We've achieved a hell of a lot in this episode, but it's also quite a short episode. But we've got 99 Construction, one of the best 99s in the game, in my opinion. And to have it fairly early on the account, like, it's my fourth 99, I really can't complain. I was really excited to do this grind when I first started ages ago. And it was a horrible grind to do, to be honest with you. It took so many hours, but it's just so worth it to have this cape sitting in my bank. Honestly, I just don't have words for it. It's fucking insane. We're actually going to plonk it there. We're going to do it like that because these are the skilling ones. So next, there's going to be another cape we're going to be going for. And like I said, it is the quest cape. We're going to plonk that somewhere in here. But damn, that looks really fucking nice. There's other slight things this means. And as I go through them and do them, I will explain it when we get to them. But that is the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Drop a comment down below on whether you think the crafting cape is better or the construction cape. Because for me, it's the crafting cape, like I've said, for the main reason that you gain access to something new. But a lot of people do say the construction cape is better. Um, I will say, we do have a Discord channel. If you guys wish to join it, the description will be... No, sorry, the link will be in the description below. We also have a CC if you guys wish to join. We're getting a hell of a lot more active members in here. It's throughout the day... Obviously, this is well, it's the morning for me right now, or early afternoon. But towards the evening, we're getting at least... It's normally double digits, people. Always new people coming in here. It's quite a nice place to chill out. And there's always someone who's willing to help you if you need something. Just feel free to ask, and they will help you. But that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. We've got 99 Construction. Next episode, we might get the quest cape. But probably not, but regardless, we got 99 Construction, boys. Peace out.